welcome back to my channel so today I am making a video on this little pink binder here that I was gifted from my husband for Christmas so I made a post on my community tab and I showed a picture of one of the weekly setups in this binder and someone suggested that I should make a video in regards to this binder this planner so um usually i kind of just wait to see like if anybody else wants to basically see me do a setup of it but or like a walkthrough or a video on it but i was like i don't have anything really that i really have planned to show you or something that i would want to show at the moment so i figured why not so this binder is a Tanya Plans binder. I got it for Christmas. It was on my wish list of things that I wanted. And so my husband, he came through, he delivered. And because it was a gift, I somehow managed to kind of finagle its way into my 2023 original lineup. I'm in the process of doing a revision to my 2023 lineup. So that's why I say um previous 2023 lineup so so this um this planner is supposed to be designed for franklin covey compact size but um what i notice about like this binder because it is like this um trifold kind of style if you have tabs in here that are on the sides and if you choose to add larger rings i have the one and a half inch rings in here they originally came with 30 um but i i went back to her site and swapped them out for one and a half inch what i noticed is that they will push up against this flap um <clears throat> the franklin covey compact and you cannot get a lot into these binders so i chose to do um personal size inserts which were a lot more convenient for me um and also i could get more of the inserts in here that i wanted versus being stuck with such a small small stack and having everything push up against this so that was one thing. Um, two, I went a very cheap route with this. Um, I decided that, you know, I've had a love-hate relationship with rings this past year that just, you know, passed. And so I really just wanted something that um, I could use and not be, um, or not feel guilty that I've abandoned the system if that should happen. So, I went with all undated inserts in which I found from Amazon and you can also find from Amazon and also AliExpress if you're really hunting. But nonetheless, I have the sections broken down. So this binder, this planner system was supposed to be a uh, extension to the Midori a6 setup that i have and for those of you who are uh, new to my channel and have not really watched any of my 2023 lineups or setups or anything like that this is the midori system that i was using it is a midori day on two pages if you can kind of briefly see these two systems basically have the same kind of layout um I have my weekly Hobonichi weekly supplement. That's what this is. It is a weekly supplement and it is a smaller version of things that, you know, like I might be planning for in a week. And then I have um, the task cards here. I also have them here as well. I also have the same routines card. It's tucked in here. So I have that. Um, just to give you an idea, this is what the routine card looks like, and this is what the uh, back of it looks like. And basically, like I said, this is um, this was the system that I was using, and this is the binder is the extension to this. 
Um, so this Midori is the daily part of the planning. It was my everyday planning. And then this red book in the back is what I would consider to be um, like my reference book. It is broken into four sections and I chose to um, do away with this system for various reasons. If you watched my last video, then you will know why. Um, <clears throat> but that is why this pink binder was kind of finagled into the lineup. So the sections that I have um, is monthly, weekly, and then I have schedule, ideas, finance, to do, and then in the back it says projects, notes, miscellaneous, meal plan, and list. So those are the tab dividers that I have. Um, so yeah, let's go in. So basically, this was set up with the mindset that this would be a place where basically I would put everything any and everything in here and I would reference it um, if I needed to do planning in here I could do planning in here I'll zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can see if I needed to do planning in here I do planning in here if I needed to write reminders or I'm doing bills or something like that it can all go into this pink little binder because realistically speaking the A6 size is not enough space to do all of my planning, but it's convenient because you can basically condense what you're trying to plan into that one little space, and it's it's good for on the go. This is a little heavy, hence the rings and the fact that this is a trifold, and the fact that the paper is a little bit bigger than A6, obviously, but I have more pages in here than the A6, so this gets a little heavy. But I find myself um, taking this around the house. If you've seen my current planner, my current main planner that I'm using, um, you'll kind of start to notice some differences or some similarities between this setup and that setup, like what the two entail. So if you can pick that out in this video, kudos to you because it'll make sense in future videos that I kind of have lined up that I want to share. So basically what I would do with this um, monthly, since this was part of my reference, I couldn't actually monthly plan in the Midori, although it did have a monthly calendar. I couldn't really put everything in there because of the space. And although these boxes are very, very similar, um, this was pretty much like my messy planning. I'm sorry. There we go. Hopefully it can focus and not blur out. But this is like my messy planning. I would put any and everything into this monthly. So it could be reminders to myself. It could be appointments. It can be events. It could be things that I want to look forward to. So say if something is coming out on the 20th and today is the 3rd, I would put it in the calendar. So that way when I got closer to that date, I would see it and I could plan or prep for whatever it is that I'm looking forward to. So every, any and everything went in here. And in the space that didn't actually have numbers, I would write like monthly notes, specifically things like stuff regarding to bills and bill change dates and all of that stuff. So all of that went in here. And I chose, like I said, I chose to go a very cheap route with this because if I chose not to use it anymore, then the guilt wouldn't be there that I've abandoned the system because everything is undated. And if I should feel the need to pick back up the system, then I could do so without having all the guilt. So I chose to do a undated um, setup for this. I did add things in here like the important holidays um, or holidays for 2023. This is stuff that I think is important to have because when you have an undated planner, none of the things are pre-filled out for you. So you kind of have to have something to reference from. So again, I did add that in here as I felt like it was necessary um trying to see what else i might have added in here oh 
And I did add a, a yearly overview because again, it's necessary to have something to reference from, especially when you're setting up your dates for the following months or the following weeks. So I put these two things in here for um, reference. I'm just gonna put my bookmark back in here. If I can get it in there. Okay. The next section that I have is, I want to say this is the schedule. No, this is weekly. I've bypassed a lot of stuff. So this is weekly. So in the weekly section, I had, so again, like this was the extension to my Midori. I had a weekly in my Midori. It's this, it was the Hobonichi weekly supplement. The idea was that I could put more things in here versus than what I could get in my Midori. Also, I added note page, note pages, <laughs> note pages to this because should I have weekly notes, I could definitely just put them in here and then they would be alongside the weeks. And especially if I needed to change the note pages to be right next to or within that week, I could do so. Unlike the Midori, which is book bound, you can't really move any of the things around. I have since then added some stuff that I've used in previous planner setups. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, I talked about like, I really like the Filofax jot pads because it's just enough space for you to write small notes. I talk about using maybe like a finer nibbed pen, like maybe a 3.38 or something similar um, because you can get a whole lot more information than you could get with a 0.5 or even a 0.7. But nonetheless, I really like the jot pads because these little things I can just jot down. They're super thin. I like the different colors that they come with. Right now, I just have blue and like this peachy, creamy color in here. But I like the little neutral um, colors that they come with. And again, I just like the jot pads because I can move them around and whatnot. Similar to sticky notes, but... Um, this goes in the rings and what i like to do is i like to slit um slit these and then that way i can move it around i can see behind something versus having to peel up a sticky note and then put it back down um to each his own <laughs> not everyone's gonna like that but nonetheless this is a weekly section and in the front of the weeklies like i mentioned i just have some note pages and that allows me to take some weekly notes should I have any weekly notes. So although the um, Hobonichi weekly supplement was supposedly the weekly planner for my Midori system, it does not allow me to do all of the different kind of planning that I wanna do. Like I like to do tasks and I like to make sure that I hit my task. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom and a stay-at-home wife, and I have things that I like to accomplish throughout my day so that I feel productive and also to keep myself busy because it can be very draining to just, you know, run up and down behind a baby all day, and I try to avoid um, spending my downtime on my phone and things like that. So I fill my day with things that I know should be getting done. So whether that is I need to clean the kitchen or I need to do laundry or I need to do something finance wise or I need to do inventory check. Those are all things that get thrown into a, um, a master task list. And then I kind of break them up like this week, I'm going to do this, this, this and that. And then I kind of just make a checkbox for it. And then I check it off if I do it. And then if I don't, I kind of exit out. So the top part of this, so for reference, the weekly looks like this. And at the top, you have a blank section which you can use for notes. I have chose to use the top part for like a weekly task. So basically they're check boxes and they're things that you would do within the week. So for this particular week, I had deep cleaning, I had clean out the fridge, 
I had grocery store run. I had vacuum the back area of our house, deep clean the bathrooms and so on. So you kind of get the gist of like what is in this section up here. Anything that I half did, I just half colored the box and anything I did, I filled it in and then anything I did not do, obviously I crossed it out. I've given myself in this planner um, a section to basically keep up with household daily chores, daily tasks, things like that. These are things that if I need to reference, if I'm if I'm planning in something else and I need to reference, well, what did I do this previous week? All of that information is going to be here because this is the reference planner. Any information regarding upcoming events, medical appointments, uh, miscellaneous appointments, like maybe I just randomly wanted to make an appointment to go see nutrition, those are considered medical appointments, but they're not um, appointments that you have to go to. All of that information would be thrown into here. And then when I'm planning, even though that same information would be in my main planner, the majority of all the information would be in here. So that was my idea behind all of this. And then, um, so the dailies, they all, or the weeklies, they all have something in, in them, in the boxes. And basically what I, what I would track um, is I would track the weather. I would still do my usual planning that I've been doing in my main planner, but in here, instead of, you know, planning out, you know, random things that I just, I don't know, basically think of that I would like to do or could do or needs to be done. And here, it's basically everything that pops up during that week or during that day. So if Monday entails like maintenance, home maintenance is coming between these times. And then maybe they gave me a note or something saying that we have to return on Friday. That note would go into that day. Maybe I had three things to do for Tuesday and these are the top tasks for that day that really need to be done. Or maybe my husband had a basketball game or maybe he needed to go to practice that day that gets thrown in here maybe we ran out of something on Thursday and I write in here grocery run and then I put in parentheses I mean I'm just hypothetically saying but I put in parentheses ran out of eggs and milk you know all of that stuff gets thrown into here so when I'm trying to do my whether it is my on the go planner when I'm trying to fill that or if I'm trying to plan for next week in my main planner, I can reference this and be like, okay, what really happened this week and what do I need to take away from this to add to that? Or what do I need to transfer to the following week? So this is basically, it's basically my main planning. It's hard to explain because I'm horrible at explaining but it's basically my main planning. But this is a last thought. Like, I don't touch this every single day. Um, I do go back in most times and fill in stuff, um, especially in this weekly area, because what I found is that I, I usually just jot stuff in random note pages and then I will go back and say, okay, I will filter through and then I'll go back and I'll say, okay, what needs to go on my reference binder and like, what do I need to keep from that? And then what can I just like discard and completely just disregard because it's not needed anymore. I usually filter through my notes like that and then I just add things in here that need to be added in here, if that makes sense. And basically, yeah, it's just a messy place to dump information. As you can see, this planner is basically pen and paper. Um, I do use the little date stickers. I have my March date stickers that I'm getting ready to put down for the next um, couple of weeks. But I just use like basic stuff. And then um, when something important is popping up, like an uh like an outing or or a reminder. I I use a little stencil. So I have a stencil in the back 
here. Oops. So I have this stencil. And I just use these little stars. If you can see, I just use these little stars to basically color in a star for something that I want to stand out versus using a color dot sticker or marker even because um, the current dot markers that I have, which are the Ohuhu dual tip markers, these guys, they kind of bleed through and I don't want to fuss with bleed through on this because I just don't. Um, this paper is not superior although i kind of feel like this paper <laughs> is a little bit better than some planner paper that i've used before but um nonetheless neither here or there this is basically the stencil that i'm using to uh do the little check boxes i do it with this and then to color in these little stars i use these little stars on this stencil okay so um this is this current week or this was last week because what's today today is a new day okay so like i said um every any and everything goes in here now these little trackers i used to have a different tracker but i wasn't really vibing with it as well so these ones i pulled from a recollections habit tracker book that i had and I bought the book and I was just like, I might as well just use these things because as it stands, I'm never going to use them. So I just cut them down and I threw them in here and they're uh, slitted so I can remove them in and out. And basically, well, here, basically what I chose to do with this is so I have my vitamins um, vitamins and meds and then house care or house chores and that's basically how the trackers are broken up because they're weekly trackers and um, you can get away with this on a one sheet tracker but I um, for whatever reason could not find any more of those and so I had these and I was just like well forget it I'll just um, use this and I'll just fill in like this so basically it's weeks 1 through 5th 6 through 12 um, 13 through 19th and 20 through 26 for all of the vitamins and meds and then 1 through 5 6 through 12 and so on and so on for household chores and every time that I do a chore I just color in the circle so that way, this is my reference to what all I did last week. Like, how many times did I do the household chores? How many times did I take my vitamins and medications? This is a clear reference of that. I still need to update a lot of stuff in here because I've done quite a bit of stuff. But I've been a little busy. Um, weekends are a little busy. So I try to do, like, my uh, weekly planning early Monday or late Sunday night, but I haven't even gotten a chance yet. And then, um, like, when I need to do, like, grocery shopping or budget, anything budget, this is the place that I go to for budget. So, okay, so if it's regarding stuff about groceries, budgeting, anything that we need, this is the place that I go to first. It is this reference binder first. Reason being is because my on the go, which is this Hobonichi um, Weeks, I do not plan in this every day. I don't really touch it anymore, but when I do touch it, um, trying to get there. When I do touch it, see like this is this current week and I do not touch this every single day. I basically do a pre-fill of things that I know are happening for the week. You probably can't see as well. I basically do a pre-fill of what I know is happening for the week and then it'll go in here. And then if I have like a grocery list or things that I need to pick up outside of the house, this is where it typically, typically goes in here. Next time if I do this, I think I'm just going to get a regular Hobonichi because the Hobonichi Mega has a bunch of note pages that I anticipated to use and I have not been using them at all. So for example, this um, sticky note goes with, this sticky note was in reference to uh, grocery shopping, right? I was doing some budgeting and I was trying to basically figure out, you know, like, 
what are we allowed to spend? What do we have? Things like that. And so in here, basically what I would do is I would write a Sam's Club grocery list. So this was my Sam's Club um, pickup haul and then this was Walmart. And basically what I would do is if I had stuff that I needed to get from Walmart, I would put it on a sticky note because a lot of times what I do in the grocery stores is I um, take the sticky note with all the, the listing, like we need oatmeal, blah, blah, blah. I would take the sticky note versus pulling out the book because this is a lot easier to work with versus trying to flip through the pages or hold a book when I'm trying to move through a grocery store really fast. But what I would do is I would make a list of things that we need, break down what we have, what our budget is. If I know the prices of some stuff, then I would write that in there. And then I would kind of total up what I think we might spend. And then I would set a budget for what we need um, to spend and not go over. And so basically in here, what I would do is I would break down what we need and then I would do like um, the grocery list for Walmart. So like if I'm meal planning, which I'm going to do another video on like how I meal plan, but basically um, if I'm meal planning, I usually have a list of things that I'm going to eat and then I just put down um, somewhere, somehow <laughs> in this book, wherever it is, where is it, where is it, where is it? I should be better prepared, right? So I'll just have like a list of food ideas somewhere in here. And then what I can do is I can base my grocery list off of that. Because what I'm trying to do is get into a habit where I spend less and only buy what I actually need. So that is how this comes into play um, with like this reference planner. So if I mosey on past all of this, I don't really, I'm not really going to go too in deep about schedule because basically it's, it's like daily planning. It's just ongoing to-do lists. I have my main planner, like I said, um, and I do my daily planning and that, but should I have this on me and I just need to dump what needs to be done for the day, I can do it here too. But I don't fuss about this because it's not um, it's not that deep in here for daily planning. What I'm mostly concerned about is the weekly, monthly, um, and the trackers that I have in here, finance, and everything else is just there in case I want to use it. So this is my actual chore cleaning list. And as you can see, I need to update it because I have the weekly one and then I keep track of everything that I do for chore-wise in my main planner. So I just basically need to come in here and just update this. But basically it's broken down between all of the house chores that I need to do. And when I do them, I just dot, I dot them in. So that way I know I did it. And I like to see it this way because I like to see how many times I'm upkeeping the house or like, I like to know how many times I've done something. Um, there are days when I don't feel like doing anything. So I like to reference this to be like, okay, how long has it been since I did this? And is it possible to skip doing something? And that something could be to clean out something and maybe I'm just not feeling it. And I, I often reference this to be like, okay, can I do it tomorrow? Can I do it next day? Things like that. So I basically just reference this, um, keeping track of like all the tasks that I do. And um, that's basically how this little insert is being used. The next insert that I've really been using a lot is this bill insert. I don't care about the numbers on here anymore because these numbers are not accurate. Um, it is just what we put into but they're not accurate anymore. So um, I don't really care if you see those. But like I said, this is the finance section and I'm going to be very careful not to go too deep past the online purchases because there are some very, very, very sensitive things in there and I do not want to share that. But basically, these are all of our yearly bills. So these are bills that come out every single month, regardless, they are always on the same day. 
and they come out every single month. So I actually we actually have so many different bills um that it took two sheets for me to fill. So these are all the first half of the month. Um some of these are first half and second half. Some are first and uh second half of the month. But anyway, nonetheless, they all when they come out what I do is I check them off. And then that lets me know, okay, these bills already came out. If they are a bill that only comes out every one month or every once a year or every six months or something like that, then what I do is I draw these pink little dots going across and then whichever month that bill is due, that is the month that is open. So that way that I can see like, okay, this month is open and the bill will come out here versus here so i'm not expecting that bill to come out you know february march april may and so on if a bill got pushed back for a couple of months so like um i have a weight watchers subscription uh it did not come out for february i'm thinking about canceling it if i cancel it then i would just continue to just cross it completely out because then again, I can expect that bill to not be coming out anymore and um, so on. So basically the pink just indicates that something is not coming out. And if it's nothing there, then it didn't come out. And if it's crossed out, it came out. So this just gives me a visual of like all the bills that are coming out and what has come out. I'm able to count what's coming out in the first half and the second half. That way I can kind of um, figure out like our finances and work around that because like I said, um, the economy is horrible right now, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm trying to find every way to budget and uh, do better at budgeting. So yes, um, I just wanted to state that. So I'm trying to keep a better handle on finances. The next section in this finance area is my online purchases. And basically, these are any purchases that I have personally made. These can be from subscriptions or just personal purchases regarding um, planner journal, anything. This is what I've purchased so far within the last two months. I'm going, I hear my son and my husband. I'm going to cross these out because <laughs> I got those already. And uh, I just wanted to make sure before I start doing my planning for, um, I was going to see something. I was going to make sure before I start doing my planning for the following um, week and I go in here and check finances and start tripping like, I didn't get, uh, but I got everything. So there's that. I also uh, stick receipts in here too. Like when I need to process something, oh, you can't see. When I need to pro process something into here, I also stick receipts in the back. I'm not going to go too in, in depth with showing that section because like I said, I have some sensitive stuff in there and I do not want to share it. I also have a meal plan section. To be honest with you, I also forget that this section is in here because I have this same section in my um, disc bound system. If you've seen the video that I recently posted, then you'll know that it is lit. This is literally the same setup as that um but just a lot smaller i have not used this i used to use these file facts meal planner sheets religiously when i was pregnant um i do have some what i think i'm gonna do because what i'm doing now works but it's not really working what i think i'm gonna do is do a pre-fill of like um what we can eat for the week i think this one's going to be more geared towards like planning out the week and then i'm going to put the final um meal plan sheet in my disc because that works a lot better for me i just need a place to brain dump all the things um like messily and then that way i can have a ready to go version of what we're going to eat so i'm not confused between all the scratching the scratching out that i've been doing so far in my meal planner but yeah so basically that is it um i wanted it to be a short video but 
Um, it takes a while to explain some stuff and I'm not the best at explaining a lot of stuff. So I tried really hard to relay a lot that's in here. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. The only, this is the problem that I have with rings too. I don't have any page lifters in here. Um, it's that get stuck under here and then you have to like lift up everything to basically pull it back over. But anyway, that is the video that I have for you. Um, in regards to this, I'm going to close this. Um, yeah, that's the video that I have for you in regards to this. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys found some use or some uh, informative information out of it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, I can get another one out today. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Oh,